Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 431. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, in this trick here, we have some numbers and some of the numbers have a custom number format and some of them don't. And we want to count the number of cells that have custom number format. Now, this is going to get pretty obscure here. I actually didn't know how to do this. I posted this question in the Mr. Excel message board. There's the current post. Here's a post from the year 2002 that talks about Excel 4 macros. This is a long lost uh, macro language um, from an earlier version and you can still access some of uh, it using names. Now also uh, there's some this is an Excel for uh, macro function. It's called D uh, get cell and it gets cell information. This function will get information like show you the custom number format or tell you how it's justified or what kind of borders it has or even down here 50, 59, it'll tell you um, what kind of uh, underline style like double accounting underline style this function can look at a cell and tell you that kind of information totally amazing get dot cell now the thing is it doesn't work in this version unless you put it into uh, an, a defined name now again the trick is going to be you just got to know which number to put in. Since we want the number format right here, uh, I'm going to put the number seven. If you wanted to find, see the formula, you know, I've showed videos of how to download the Morefunk add-in. Um, you don't have to, to download that if you know how to use this get cell and then you type in the number six and it will get the formula. Anyway, we're going to see custom number formatting. All right, we have to get to define names. Control F3. I already have some names here because I always have the answer sheets here, but we're going to do it all from scratch. I'm going to say new name. Uh, the name is going to be format, please. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do this equals get dot cell open parentheses. And we need to tell it what number, right? Seven for custom number format, six for a uh, formula, and I think it's 59 for what kind of underline you have. I'm going to use um, six here. And then here's the trick. The post, if you go read this at the Mr. Excel message board, it uh, used the offset and indirect and the RC cell reference style to do a relative cell reference in a defined name. But there's an easy way to do a relative cell reference in a defined name. Now watch this. The cell I selected before I opened this dialog box was B4. And if you tell it A4 in this uh, defined names, it'll assume you want a relative cell reference. It's all from the point of view of what cell you have selected when you open this. Ah, but you got to type an explanation point, which is a sheet reference syntax. So. Uh, uh, explanation point and then I'm going to type in A4. No way, that is a global relative cell reference inside of a name. No matter where you click, put this formula, format please, anywhere in this workbook it'll always be looking one cell to my left. I have a link to a video where I talk nothing but uh, relative cell reference and define names. That's it. <coughs> the trick was this uh, Excel 4 macro function, the number 6, and this relative cell ref global relative cell reference. Click OK. Now I'm going to click uh, close. And then watch this. I'm going to use my um, equals for, oh, for man, and then there's my um, function. That, that, I mean a name, it's a name that um, has a custom function in it, in the name dialog box. Control Enter. I'm going to uh, double click and send it down. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I must have typed uh, the wrong number. Control F3. Luckily, we can edit global formulas. Format, please. Of course, it must be seven. I'm mixing up my numbers here. Seven. That's the number that says give me the custom number format. Um, ooh, I did it wrong here. When I click close, I should have put it into edit. When I click close, it's going to say, oh, what are you, crazy? Do you want to save the changes? I'm going to say yes. I should have clicked edit and then OK. But that'll work anyway. Anyway, that function. Uh, through define names, 
extracts the, the number format. Here you can see it just had uh, 0.00. And if you don't believe it, you can click here. Control 1 is the keyboard shortcut for uh, format cells. There's the custom number format right there. That's it. And that is what's displayed in the cell. If you click right here, Control 1. The actual custom number format is just 0.00, .00 and sure enough it displays it there. Now we just come up here and go count if this whole range right here, uh, comma, and then this right here. Close parentheses and then control enter. And there we have it. Seven cells with that custom number format using uh, this format, please. Now, what if you uh, wanted zeros and ones here, and then you wanted just a sum function at the bottom of this uh, column? Now, we could turn this into a true false because, right, that formula is delivering that format right there. But watch this. I'm going to say, is that equal to, and I could click right here, but watch this. I'm going to hard code this by double clicking and hitting the F9 key. I could never remember how to get something like this, um, something that has double quotes in it, uh, into a formula. But that's the way you actually have to have a couple extra ones there and an extra one right there. All right, so now I'm going to control enter and double click and send it down. Now, I want this to be zeros and ones. Ah. But look at this, I'm getting a true there. There's nothing there. That means the custom number format is there, but no number. And really what I'm interested in is the number of numbers that have this custom number format. So I'm going to come up here to the top. I'm going to have to check if the cells are blank and this. This is a true false uh, formula. So I'm going to say and. There's one logical test. I put a comma. And then I'm going to say this cell right here, relative cell reference, is not blank. That's the second logical test. You can see it right there. And then I'm going to close parentheses, control enter, double click. I got my um, fingers crossed. There it is, false. Now, all we have to do to convert all of these to ones and zeros, F2 to put it in edit mode and put a double negative in front. And so now I have uh, a formula right here if I wanted to do that. Notice our count if won't work right there because um, it's I've changed the formula here, but originally the way we had set up that would work. I could come down here, alt equals, or down at the bottom, I'll do it right there, alt equals, come over here. Okay, so there we go, um, there's some get, this this uh, XL4 macro get cell, and a little All right, and I gotta show you one more totally bizarre thing about this get cell. Uh, right here. Now there's a keyboard shortcut for insert sheet and it is shift F11 and it inserts a sheet. But oftentimes I accidentally hit control F11. No way, that is the keyboard shortcut for this back in Excel 4 for a macro sheet. And you are not going to believe this. The uh, get cell function will work on one of these sheets. Now uh, I just played around with this a little bit. Um, for a little bit and I realized that these sheets are opened in show formula view. The toggle, and we'll, we'll go ahead and do our, our get cell formula here and, and then uh, untoggle it and we'll see that there's two views. But watch this, I'm going to type a 10 here and then I'm going to control 1 for format cells and we'll go ahead and apply this uh, format cell right here. Um, zero point zero zero and then in double quotes an asterisk a space and then an asterisk right oh you can't see it but if you hit control tilde and tilde is to the left of the number one you can see this sheet macro sheet when you insert it control F11, it opens in formula view. So when you control tilde, it goes back to regular view. The reason why control tilde opens this in this view is because then you can use um, equals get dot cell right in this sheet. And then I'm going to uh, put the number 7 here because 7 is, of course, for format. And then comma, I'm just going to click on this cell here, right? And then I'll enter, right? Well, it's in show formula view, but when I control tilde, you got to be kidding me. So two, uh, a couple amazing things uh, from this uh, post. And by the way, Peter SS, and then a few people from back in 2002 pointed out this amazing uh, 
Mac, XL4 macro. We can use names, but if you want, you can insert one of these weird sheets, use control tilde, build your form, and then control untilde. And no way, that formula, this get.cell, will work in uh, newer versions of Excel. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.